In the previous video, we talked about unions. And in this video, we'll talk about the next neat thing, which is intersection. Intersection. All right. Okay. In geometry, an intersection, uh, as you may remember, it's something when you know, two lines cross each other at a single point. Okay. And in sets, it's something like this. But again, of course, very, very different. All right, let me give you an example with a Venn diagram. All right, let's not take our you know, previous example. <laughs> All right, okay. All right, okay, let this be the set of people who are, let's see. My subscribers, yes, my subscribers. Hey, my subscribers, yes. You, yes, you, all right. And let these people who are my watchers, okay? All right, who are my watchers? Uh, watchers, yes. Okay, now, when you take the values that are common to both the sets, all right? Common, that is this part, okay? We call that an intersection, all right? That means when you have only just this part, just this set, okay, we call that an intersection. All right, intersection. Okay, now how do we denote this intersection? Well, you we use something like, you know, A intersection B, okay. And again, if you use latex, you know, which is a language used to make, you know, math, you know, used to write maths and research papers and stuff, we call this a gap all right but in pronunciation we call this an a intersection b all right now let me give you a more numerical example all right now let's take a one two and three all right and let's take set b right an orange three four and five now think what will be the intersection of these two sets. All right. I think the you know, intersection would be only three, right? Because only three is common to both the sets. There is no other common element. Okay. So yeah, I guess that's it for intersection. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, it is pretty simple. All right. Yeah.